Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I have a fun little paint along I'm going to share with you today, but I just recently found this new sketchbook, or at least new to me, and it's from the B Paper Company. And if you've watched my channel, you know that I use a lot of B Paper Company watercolor paper for my paper crafting projects. But I found this watercolor sketchbook that is 100% cotton, and I am excited. I'm kind of thrilled about it. And I'm going to paint with it today and just kind of see how I feel about it. So I'm really digging it because it's, it's, the paper is very, very thick. It's 100% cotton. It's got some really, really nice texture. It's wire bound, but it also has that perforation on the left hand side. So if you enjoy the painting that you created, you can take it out of the sketchbook. I like that it lays flat. There's a ton of paper in here and I'm just gonna see what we can do with it. So I've got two Daniel Smith watercolor um, travel sets here. And these are new to Daniel Smith. I'm not totally in love with the um, the palette that they're in, but I have been using these colors on the go quite a bit. And I just kind of redid the two palettes and mixed a couple colors together. I'm probably going to take them out and maybe put them in a different palette, but I don't know. We're going to play with them today um, because I wanted to use some Daniel Smith on this B paper and, and just kind of work it a little bit and see what happens. So I've got a mixture of a couple different um, paintbrushes here, some Princeton Neptune, some silver black velvet. I'll have all of the supplies that I'm using listed below. Just if you're interested, you can take a peek at them. But I'm going to turn on a little bit of music here and just paint in this sketchbook and maybe talk a little bit about it along the way. I'll just pop back in and out um, and talk a little bit about it along the way. But I'm just doing some washy, washy watercolor here by just putting a little bit of the paint in the center of the floral and then just really, really wetting my brush and cleaning it up and just using that little bit of paint to create the blooms um, to create the petals and getting that transparent look. So I'm getting that first layer of washy, washy watercolor on here really, really lightly and just building the shape and form of my flower. So I'm going to be going in and adding several layers because I want to, I'm using Daniel Smith watercolor, which is a really good artist grade watercolor. I really want to test this paper out quite a bit and see how much it can take, how much water can it take, how much paint can it take, and will the colors as they dry and begin to fade back a little bit continue to be super, super vibrant. And so I think they are going to be. I'm really digging it so far and I'm really adding a lot of color and a lot of water here and working this paper and it's um, it's taken it. So let's just listen to some music a little bit and paint along here. And I'll pop back in and talk a little bit more about the sketchbook and some of my thoughts. If you're painting along with me, just enjoy and really dive into it and just kind of have some fun. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop them in the comments and I answer all of my comments, me personally. So if you have questions, just drop them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them. So let's just sit back and paint a little bit and listen to some music.
So I'm going to pop back in here with just some observations about the paper. You can see that it's not buckling and I have added a lot of water and about three layers of paint and I'm going back in here and adding some more paint. So I'm doing some glazing, which is a layering. And when you layer watercolor, you can really enhance the luminosity of the color by letting the paint dry in between each time you use it. So you're letting it dry in between and then adding more color on top. And because the watercolor is transparent, you get to see all of the different layers that are coming up from underneath and mixing with the layer that you're glazing in on over top. And when you're using a watercolor like Daniel Smith, a lot of that watercolor won't move up underneath. It's kind of permanent. So you're just adding layers on top and I am just digging it. So I'm just kind of getting playful here by softening the edges of the painting by using this brush. It's called a deer foot brush because it's kind of wonky and it's like, um, sort of like a broom. It looks sort of like a broom. And I'm adding um, some water around the edges and just going in and just kind of blending out the color that's there. So I'm playing a little bit here also with that deer foot brush and just adding a little bit of intensity to the center and a little bit of texture with that brush, adding it to the center of these blooms just to create another element of layering and texture. So I'm digging it and you can see that I've popped in here several times with my heat tool to just dry the piece in between so that I can get a good sense of how the paper is working with this particular watercolor or any watercolor that you might be using. And if the paper is really taking on the water and look at it, it's just not buckling like I would have expected it to. Um, it's really, it's really nice. So I'm very impressed with the 100% cotton. I've always been impressed with the B Paper Company um, water uh, watercolor paper uh, for my paper crafting and card projects. But I really, like I said, I'm intrigued by the sketchbook. I also picked up a square one that they had. And because it's wire bound and I'm left-handed, it lays flat and I don't feel like I've got a fight with the binding of the book. So just my opinion on the book. This is all of my opinion. I'm just enjoy their paper so much. So I was really intrigued to find it in a watercolor sketchbook. So I've kind of nerded out a little bit too much maybe on the whole sketchbook thing. But um, having a sketchbook practice, though, a place where you can noodle out your ideas and practice techniques is really, it's a really good habit to get into. I have a lot of different sketchbooks going at different times, um, and I get intrigued by trying different ones. And I've definitely tried sketchbooks over the years that I've completely abandoned, or I've ripped the paper out and used it for something else. So um, I'm just, you know, kind of digging it and hoping that this is providing you with a little bit of inspiration to kind of get started on your own sketchbook practice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn some music on and let's just kind of ease our souls into the final stages of creating this painting. I'm definitely digging the way this whole sketchbook worked out for me in this painting. 
the fact that it's 100% cotton just kind of makes, seals the deal for me and just the colors are super vibrant and I'm really, really enjoying this. If you would like to join me in my online classroom and learn more techniques with watercolor, I would love to see you there. You can visit craftyourjoy.com and you can see all of the class offerings that I have in my classroom and I'm adding new ones all the time. And feel free to use the coupon code craftyourjoy for $5 off any class offering that I have. Hope you enjoyed today's little paint along with watercolor. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.